Hello and welcome to the CATIA Assembly Drawing Basics lesson. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up an exploded view of a subassembly, insert a bill of materials, and do general identification of parts. Right now, we've got CATIA open to the lathe subassembly of the block project. First step in creating our assembly drawing is to create an exploded view of this assembly. To do that, we'll go to Explode and select Constraints for the type. Our fixed product is going to be a lathe pin. Now we can click Apply. Click OK, OK, and then Yes. Now we need to move our parts around a little bit to set it up for our drawing. So move that one there. I'm going to bring the big part back a little bit and the small part as well as our screw. Once we're satisfied with that, we can open up the ME department template which we've saved to our personal folder. Okay. And now select the ME drawing template window going to use the view creation wizard and skip the first step and just add an isometric view. Click to place, click finish. Now we have to select our reference plane. In this case it will be the face of this part and it places it in our drawing. We're happy with our placement so we'll click here and then open up the large window. I'd like the size slightly smaller for this application. So right click on sheet 1, edit properties. We're just going to do a 3 to 4 scaling. There we go. Move it to where we'd like it placed and adjust this. There we go. Our next step after hiding this name is to insert the bill of materials. To do so, we'll go to Insert, Generation, Bill of Materials. Now we click to place the bill of materials, but it automatically has snapped us to sheet 2. However, if we go to sheet 1, we'll see our bill of materials actually been placed. So sheet 2 is just a secondary measure to tell us what all our parts are. In sheet 1, we need to move it around and resize it a little bit to fit in our allotted space. To do so, we'll double click on it and then move the adjustment bars in the top to shrink it. We're also going to use the merge function, clicking merge, highlight both, merge. Now we can shrink this one as well and can rename this. We're going to name this and click OK. Our O-rings will be part 1, lathe bottom will be part 2, lathe pin part 3, top 4, and our hex screw, part 5. We need to identify our hex screw as a hex screw instead of part 1. So we'll rename that and click OK. Now we can move this into position. The last step to completing our drawing is to insert identification bubbles to tell us which parts are which. The identification bubbles can be found under the text drop down tab. They look like that. So we're going to start with our O rings, which are part one, and click on O ring, drag out the bubble. We can now edit the number. Do the same thing for our other parts. And 
finally our hex screw. Now that's done and our part is moved exactly where we want it, we can print off our drawing. That concludes the CATIA assembly views lesson.